I said to Trish, you know, it would be lovely to do something like that in, within the group. It was quite interesting to see how that we can incorporate technology um, and actually incorporate that into the visual art practice and it's given me a lot of ideas. How we can use technology to supplement new works of art, uh, maybe how I can actually explore that further with some of my students here at Rosetta and incorporate some of the things that I learned today. Since I'm interested in capturing movement, I thought there would be things which were useful for that. I like, I like having something in my pocket that does everything I need while I'm out, so I'm interested in it. So also combine um, electronic media with, with old media, paper or some kind of material or fabric. Or I can use all these different technologies such, such as like the video mapping in like the stuff that I want to do for my projects there. Um, how I can use the technology that I've already got, such as my phone and my laptop, and apply that to work that I'm doing at the moment push boundaries of my artwork and learn more about digital technology and creative technology really has pushed those boundaries and opened me up to lots of inspiration and made me think about things I hadn't thought about before. Um, I'd like to do more of this definitely, lots of, um, longer, a longer session would be incredible, even over a few days would be amazing. I wish it was longer, I think I really need more time to try to understand all these new concepts and technology, how to connect this with my uh, artworks. I've been introduced to one device called Mirror Sky that fits perfectly within what I want to work with. It deals with, with brain and the information we get from the brain that we can translate into anything. And I think it's very important to to bring as many new people into it as possible so that it can become as, as boundary pushing and groundbreaking as it has the capacity to be.